Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Norlin Whiskey Glass. The thing about the Norlin Whiskey Glass is about form and function. They knew that there was some room for improvement on the original, you know, kind of the tried and true Glen Cairn glass. So they wanted to improve that, but they also wanted to make it look better. So I have not opened this yet. I wanted to save it for this review. Um, so I'm gonna kind of open this, I'm gonna wash out the glasses, and then we're gonna do some, some nosing to see if it makes a difference here. But just look at this, right? So they know their audience. This is what it looks like when you buy a bottle of whiskey that comes in a tin. Very, very smart of them. So let's go ahead and open this up. So you open it up, it looks, it's like I said, just like a whiskey glass. You pull out, there's two of these. Oh, and there's a little thing in there. I have no idea what that is. So there are two of these glasses that come in. Now, while I'm doing this, worth noting that these are $48 for two of them. So, sorry for the noise. You are truly buying a luxury item. When you think about, didn't want to try to talk over the tissue paper. But when you try to think about um, buying one of these for $48 when you could buy a Glen Cairn for six, um, well, I guess these are 24 piece, you realize that you're, you're paying a lot of money. It is a luxury item. So let me unbox this as well. I, once again, do not know what this is. Oh, it's like a little cloth. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know if this is just for somehow like cleaning. It doesn't say. Please care for your Norlin glass by keeping the following in mind. Lovingly polish before use. Okay. Um, says not to microwave it and whatever else. So I'm going to go wash these glasses. I'm going to polish them and I'll come right back. Now that these are all polished, I can kind of show this off to you in a couple different ways. So I filled this with Maker's Private Select and I did that for a reason. It's a high ABV bourbon. Bourbon will, I figured, would show up a little bit better on camera because it's usually a little bit darker. And the high ABV will help me to prove something to myself about the way that it handles the alcohol uh, and the, the flare. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But let me put this down and talk to you about the design here. Now, this does look really cool. <laughs> Just to put that out there, it does look very cool. And it's got this kind of inner glass that is shaped very similar to a Glen Cairn, but it's also got this outer wall so you can hold this and you're not gonna be warming up the glass with your hand. Very, very neat. But it also makes it feel like if you look, and, and I'll get a close up of this for you. If you look there, the bottom of it is separated from the top or from the outer shell, I should say. So it's just kind of hanging in there like a teardrop. The, the form of this is very cool and it was well thought out. In fact, the, uh, they had a, a few master distillers, they had a designer and they got them all in a room and they had them design their ideal whiskey glass and then they actually 3D printed a few of them up to test them right then and there. Very neat. Um, in, on that same vein, the, the Norlin actually started as a Kickstarter and their original goal um, was, I think it was back in 2014, they started making the Norlin glass, but they needed more money. So they started a Kickstarter in October of 2015 through December of 2015 to raise $75,000. They ended up raising over $800,000 because <laughs> this thing, if you remember 2015, this was all over the place. People really were pushing this and it did really well. Um, so uh, anyway, they, they 3D printed a bunch of these. They tried a bunch out. The main designer, his name is Shruli Recht and he is a des designer of men's fashion. He actually made some really weird looking things, uh, but you can, you can check those out here. I'll put up some pictures. And they also hired a biologist named Martin Hansik, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, to help with the design. And what he contributed was at the bottom of this glass, there are these little veins, there are these little um, bumps. And what they do is when you're swirling your glass, it actually helps to create more aeration, and they, they refer to it as waves, um, but it basically helps to aerate the glass. And you can even hear it versus, actually let's do this as an experiment because this is kind of a cool thing. I hadn't planned on doing this, but got that microphone right there, might as well use this. So if I swirl a Glen Cairn, relatively quiet. If I swirl a, a Norlin, you can tell there's a much more um, of a 
sloshing around, I guess you'd call it. And what that's doing, like I said, is aerating and helping to remove some of the ethanol from the whiskey. So they do encourage swirling here. Um, so let's talk about the, some of the more functional parts of this glass. So the top is tuliped, which means that it comes up and it flares at the top. The Glencairn has it to a very, very small degree, but for the most part, the Glencairn is trying to focus aromas. This is trying to drive some of the alcohol, uh, ethanol out from the sides so that you can concentrate more on the center and get more of the notes of the actual whiskey. It's a smart idea, and you see it in certain other types of glasses as well. So let's go ahead and give this a nose, and I'll compare it over to the Glencairn here as well. So I'm, for my own personal curiosity, because as I said, I just opened this, I'm actually gonna nose really close to the side to see if I'm getting a, like a heavy alcohol note. Now this uh, Maker's Mark Private Select is 110% or 55 AB, uh, ABV. 110 proof, sorry. So it will have an alcohol burn for sure. Okay, so when I nose off the side, I am smelling the Maker's Mark, as you would. I mean, it's not like gonna go away, but you can tell that's, you know, there. it's definitely got the alcohol burn there. So I'm gonna move my nose in a little bit and see if it reduces. Hmm. Let me swirl a little bit. Interesting. And I remember thinking this, I'll go into this in just a sec, but I remember thinking this the very first time I tried it, that it didn't, didn't really give you the nose that a Glencairn does. So if I were to drink this, my nose would be right about there. And that is interesting. If you nose this as if you were drinking and nosing at the same time, you do get a concentrated flavor or nosing profile of this Maker's Mark. Now I know this smell very well. I've reviewed this in the past, um, not on the channel, but I, I did it as like a Patreon thing. And um, it is, it's got very defined characteristics and I can pick those up when I do this, the tasting with the smell, but not when I'm just nosing. When I'm just nosing, it's it's muted. So if I were to nose from the Glencairn, you do get a lot more of the alcohol, but you also get a lot more of the nose of the whiskey. So I don't know. Um, I have a pretty defined uh, opinion of this that I had formulated a couple of years ago. I had hoped to either change it or confirm. I didn't really care either way during this video, and I have confirmed unless you're buying this strictly for the way that it looks, you are not going to get any real benefit from nosing out of this glass. Um, it, there's a little bit more of a richness, I guess, if you're like, have it in your mouth while you nose, but you can get that from the Glencairn. You just have to nose in the right spot. So for four times the price, you're paying for the way it looks. And if that's what you want, then awesome. I mean, like I said, these look really cool. And uh, actually, as you buy larger sets, they have like hand carved wood boxes, they have all these different things. And uh, they really know how to, how to go with the aesthetic of a whiskey glass, totally. Does it improve the nose? No. So do with that information what you will, uh, as far as making your purchase. So thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary and check out the description. I'll have some links to the Norlin uh, glasses on my Amazon store. Essentially, I get like a small amount if you decide to buy it. Uh, it's really more just for convenience. I honestly think I get like a couple cents if you buy it. So that's not really my point, more just for your convenience. Um, check out some of the other links in there and I look forward to talking to you soon. Cheers.